of like 100 percent that's me do you know what i mean i'm coming here to fucking kill this guy i'm not i'm not coming <laughs> in here true. to take off <laughs> do you know what i'm saying it's like you want me to go in there and do you know what i mean she, oh i hope hope you're okay no i'm going in there to put him away in the first round i'm going in there to bust him up bad and get him out of there do you know what i mean i want to, this is my life do you know what i mean they think i'm going to go in there and be mates with someone or show someone like uh, I like you, or do you know what I mean? I'm, uh, don't you know what I mean? Scared. This is my this is my life. Do you know what I mean? I'm setting up a future for myself. I want to go and buy a house. I want to like set up my fucking life. So I'm going in there to put this guy away, and I'm going to add him. I'm going to add him more than I went at that last guy. I'm going to add him more, and I'm going in there and putting him away in the first. How how much pressure is on your shoulders going into that event? Not one bit, mate. <laughs> Not one bit. So there's what what pressure to go out and do something you love? Do you know what I mean? There's something you get to enjoy that sets up my whole life. Do you know what I mean? This is one of the biggest moments of my life. I'm just going to go out here, have fun, and enjoy it in front of my home people. It's a sold out event. The event sold out. I'm uh, 10,000 people in this rear arena. What pressure is that? That's something I've wanted since I started out in this. Do you know what I mean? This is something I've always dreamed of. This is a dream come true. And thanks to Bellator and Scott and Mike and David here and all the guys that I came up through Bama and stuff, like when I fought in Bama a few years ago, and it's like always something I wanted. I wanted to be the main event. I wanted to go big. I wanted the title shots. I wanted this. I wanted that. And then now it's happening. It's all unfolding in front of my eyes. I'm only 22 years old, coming off a big, big loss. And I'm looking forward and going and getting that big, big win in, in this big show. Do you know what I mean? It's the, it's the Jimmy show at the end of the day. I think a round of applause for James answering a question without swearing to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we know what happened in the last fight. There's, your, your, your style is such that you know, you're, you're very confident, you're very brash, you like to get in the face of your opponent. On that occasion, it didn't go your way. You got an awful lot of uh, hate and stick on social media afterwards. How long did it take you to sort of compartmentalise that and just put it in the rearview mirror and move on? I literally, for... I'd say about five weeks after that, I was getting about 6,700 messages a day. A day, like the horses, like, it was hard. I was reading them and going like, I can't actually believe like that people would say this kind of thing. Like it was, it was dreadful. And then I would just look at it and be like, wait a minute, I'm going to the VMAs in New York with me mates. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just fought, earned a lot of money at the weekend, doing something I love. Like, I just love MMA and training and like, do you know what I mean? It's just something, it's my passion. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to do anything else. I just love it. I love the whole thing about it. I love fighting. I love training. I love being a disciplined martial artist. I love the fun of it. I love the hyping it all up. And, and that's just me. I love to have a buzz, do you know what I mean? And I was reading all these messages and like, and then for a second, I'd be like, do I, do I really want to like, keep going? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, like, I was looking at them all, and they were like, saying stuff about my family, about me, like, running me down to the floor. And then I'd read them, and I'd be like, these are the sad bastards. I'm having a great buzz floating around. Do you know what I mean? Why, why, why wouldn't I not? Do you know what I mean? I'm the main event now in my hometown. I'm 22 years old, making a lot of money. I'm fucking loving it. <laughs> I could keep it coming. Keep it fucking coming. I don't care. Do you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm, in, I'm enjoying life, man. So it is, I haven't felt better after that loss. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I'm, I'm going to show that in the 23rd. So as I swear to God, I'm absolutely, I've never been happier in my life. Fantastic. And being from the, uh, the same camp as Connor, has he had any words of, uh, words of advice? He's obviously been through some highs and lows during his career and he's, he's been at the sharp end and taken, taken a fair amount of stick himself. Has he had any words for you? Yeah, 100%. Is like, this is where it shows now. Do you know what I mean? It's not. It's not to say like, if you. It's not to say you, you need advice or you need this or you need that. It's up to you. Are you going to take it that way? Or are you going to be a world champion? I'm going to be a world champion. So there's, there's no doubt about that. I've that, after that loss, I've set my mind that like, I had a, a talk with myself and I was like, I don't want anything else more. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing else. I'm set out now to be a world champion and that's it. I'm not stopping until I get there, and uh, that's the make or break. Do you know what I mean? Are you going to keep going? Or are you going to stop? You can go one way or the other. You can get better or you can get better. And all them other bitter bastards online that are hitting on me, I'm just getting better. I'm just getting better and I'm going straight to the top.